Hello and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. We all love a bit of a puzzle, whether it's a crossword, a Rubik's Cube, or something as simple as, who's my real dad? A puzzle needs a certain level of challenge to make it exciting, but sometimes ones appear that you cannot solve, no matter how hard you try, even when you know the solution is hiding right there under your nose. So today we're looking at both printed and digital problems that caused family arguments and hours of frustration. It's the top 10 puzzles that drove people crazy. To get us started, we have a very easy puzzle for you. All you have to do is fit your cursor or your fingertip inside the red subscribe box and give it a press. Done? Do you feel that warm feeling of satisfaction? That's because you are a winner. Number 10. Where's Waldo? The Gold Rush Where's Waldo is actually originally called Where's Wally when it was published in the UK in 1987. It's the work of British illustrator Martin Hanford and the books have become a huge international success. You have to scour the page looking for Waldo and his signature red and white stripes. There are also a range of supporting characters and objects. In the second book, a scene called The Gold Rush was notoriously tough. Finding Waldo was one thing, but there was a book hidden in there that was practically invisible. Number 9. Where's Waldo? The Enormous Party Of course, once the Where's Waldo series took off, the only direction to go was to make the books even harder. And how do you do that? Well, the first trick was to try and make everything very similar. In one image you have a full page of Waldos and you have to find one with no shoe. But statistical analysis has shown that Waldo has got drastically smaller as the books went on. In the seventh, called The Incredible Paper Chase, he is only 0.2 square centimetres, whereas he was closer to 2 square centimetres in the initial book. In The Enormous Party, not only is he very small, but he's surrounded by a sea of red, white and blue. Number 8. Find the Mistake Sometimes the beauty of a puzzle is in its simplicity. The problem with that is when you do find the answer, or someone has to point it out to you, then you feel double extra stupid with fries and a shake. Try this one out, we'll give you a few seconds to look at it. Any guesses? Ok, let us help you. Number 7. Dog Word Search Word searches are probably the earliest type of letter puzzle we encounter. You normally have a list of words to find and then a grid of letters. Words can be written horizontally, vertically and diagonally. In some searches, you can also have the words written backwards. Because of the way they're designed, short words are normally harder to spot. So, one word search takes this to the extreme. You have to find dog in a grid made up of only D, O and G. It's only there once, and yes, we promise it's there. Number 6. Panda and Snowman the challenge in Waldo is that there is a huge amount of information to process, so it's hard to sort out the junk from the thing you're looking for. However, that's not the only way to make these search puzzles hard. The famous snowman picture that was shared widely had a hidden panda. What made it so hard for some people is the similarity of everything. It's almost like your eyes get bored into blindness. Number 5. Beer and Burger Equation A simple arithmetic problem now. There have been many forms of this on social media over the last few years, but the basic premise is the same. You get some mix of objects which have replaced numbers in an equation. You see what they add up to and then you have to use simple deduction to work out what the value of each object is so you can do the final sum. Here it is in burgers, beer bottles and beer glasses. Feel free to pause and have a go. The thing that trips so many people up is not the arithmetic, it's that there is only one beer glass in the final equation, rather than the two that have been used in the others. It's a cheap trick. Number 4. Peg Solitaire This game can be traced back to at least the 17th century as an engraving from 1687 shows a woman playing it in Louis XIV's court. 
The idea is to remove the pegs or marbles until you only have one left. You can only remove them by hopping one peg over an adjacent peg into an empty space. The fact that it is still unsolved today shows how its challenge has remained over the years, although I'm sure King Louis' court would have dropped it for Candy Crush in an instant. Number 3. Lemmings – Level 29 In the classic video game Lemmings, you had to try and save as many of your little guys as possible. You had a limited number of special lemmings you could use just by selecting the skill and clicking on a regular lemming. Level 29 required you to create a perfect stairway by making lemmings dig as soon as a new one reached the top. The timing and accuracy required to complete this was enough to make you smash the monitor and pray for the apocalypse, although not enough to make you go outside and play like a normal kid. Number 2. Tower of Hanoi This mathematical test was created by French mathematician Edouard Lucas in 1883. The idea is that you have a pyramid of discs stacked on one pole. You have to move the pyramid to another pole, but you can only place any disc on top of a bigger one, not a smaller one. It's the type of thing that looks easy enough, but you'll soon want to poke your eyes out on the pole when you realise you've gone back to where you started. Number 1. Masquerade The final one today was another British puzzle book, but this one really fits our title. It actually made some people mentally ill. The book by Kit Williams, released in 1979, hid instructions to the location of a golden rabbit ornament. You had to draw lines between certain body parts in the pictures and it revealed letters, which then revealed a riddle showing the burial point, and people were obsessed. Some readers travelled hundreds of thousands of miles, digging up acres of land in an effort to find the prize. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video, and remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, please subscribe to Daily Top 10. Uh, yeah, subscribe. Press the button down below and just subscribe. Uh, I don't fucking know, my job sucks. There's a button down below, click it and just subscribe. Oh, and here's my Mexican hat. I seem funny, entertainment, yeah. Uh, basically, that's it, just subscribe, the top 10. Oh, this is so boring. I give up, I just quit, fuck it.